We make a ton of guides here on the channel, and I realize we cover the journey through improvement. But what happens when you hit a wall? When you reach your skill ceiling, how do you push past it? Everyone's graph through improvement is going to look very different when you hit a wall, and when you feel like you're taking steps back, or even taking steps forward. We could show endless graphs because everyone's journey through self-improvement is very different. We want all our graphs to be forever growing and exponential. That would be nice. Sometimes it may be a fast growth, to success, and it absolutely halts with little hills and valleys. But this meme right here really highlights what it actually feels like. We all want the linear graph of forever improvement, but the path to improvement is a massive cycle of growth, steps back, then again momentum, then another step back. So what do we do? The first step of going past a wall is acknowledging first your progress and realizing that skills early on see lots of progress just how it's going to work when you first take your first steps into learning something new. That journey past initial growth is going to be much smaller, to the point you may not even realize it or even see it once you've started to really get a deep dive into that skill set. Now, we need to first move past the frustration because the frustration is what also halts creativity and improvement. It may even need to take a moment and step away. The journey of improvement can be so small that a moment away or even a day away, an hour away can help reset your focus. The second step, once you clear your mindset, is analysis. What variable can you change or adjust slightly to create passion or excitement? What's going to get you motivated? The goal in my opinion is to help you find your spark. Remember the first time you played a new game, sport, or any new craft? The initial spark and interest was high. You need to search for the motivation, but also to keep your brain actively engaged to push for more improvement. You can do a lot of different things. Here's some examples. You can adjust your sensitivity for a game. You can change your gameplay settings. You can try a new game and then hop right back into the game you're most accustomed to. Ensure you get a positive level of sleep. Maybe a healthy meal beforehand. Maybe watching or listening to something you really enjoy to get you motivated. A change or a variable, even a small one, can give you a boost right before you game. The question after that I always see in comments and also during the live stream, well, I reset and tried something new, but progress is still slow and very frustrating. This is going to happen, and you cannot avoid it, unfortunately. But remember, the journey to improvement is very slow. There was a saying that I grew up with that still rings very true to me to this day. To become a master of anything, it takes nearly 10,000 hours to master a skill. This was popularized by Malcolm Gladwell, a book called Outliers, which has been showcased by many after the fact, and I've heard the saying said to me many times. The rule goes like this, it takes 10,000 hours of intensive practice to achieve mastery of complex skills and materials. The one that everyone always uses is like playing a violin. Now you have to answer the question, where in this 10,000 hours am I in? And if you're playing a game competitively or one with skill-based matchmaking like Apex Legends, you ask the question, who am I playing against and what is the potential hours that they have invested in that game? How hard are you working and how positive is your investment? This may help put in perspective as well as you're improving to judge based on your own progress and not the progress of others. What may feel like a step back or block in progress can actually be your next breaking point as you near your journey of 10,000 hours. I would say personally, I'm only three-fifths of the way there of this journey myself through FPS gaming. Because remember, there is a difference between just playing and also playing through improvement. But remember, each skill can have its own sub-component of 10,000 hours. You can have 10,000 hours of aiming, but have no idea how to position in-game. You need 10,000 hours of shot calling in an FPS game to be very comfortable. You need 10,000 hours of positioning in a game to really understand how to rotate and what to do. Or 10,000 hours of meta breakdown. I have hit multiple walls. I hit a wall this past week and also applied the same logic and found another step of progress. It's kind of why I haven't streamed. I've been trying some new things and I really want to push the boundaries myself. It never stops and it's never going to end. But you know what happened? I improved quickly and I'm going to hit another wall again. The path to success is a very slow one. But if you're passionate about it, it's one worth investing into.